Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Let's get into the monthly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we begin, I want to let you guys know we are at the busiest time of the season for us. So if you're interested in personal consultation, spell work, or any of the services we provide, you can find the link to our online store on the description box below. Let's get into it, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2022. How are you doing, Pisces? Hope you're doing amazing. Are you as excited as I am for Hallow's Eve? I'm interested to know for my subscribers, how do you guys celebrate Hallow's Eve or Halloween? How do you guys celebrate it? Is it a family affair or is it something casual or do you guys not do you not celebrate it at all? It's okay, no judgment here. <laughs> but I am definitely interested in knowing what you guys do around this time of the year. All right, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, give us clarity and insight. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, and Water for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, Pisces, here we go. We're starting off with the element of earth, finances, and career. We have the king of cups. Very receptive energy. You may be dealing with um, feeling a little a, a boost of energy. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be feeling more confident in yourself. Um, king of uh, any king of any suit is actually empowering type of energy. This is masculine energy. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that you feel or you start to feel in the month of October like you guys are being more uh, proactive, uh, maybe picking up uh, more responsibilities than usual, which is a pretty amazing thing because when it shows up as your earth uh, finances and career, it is symbolizing power or having the opportunity to go up the ladder. And because it is the King of Cups, allow your intuition to guide you through this process. This is your energy. You are in your element, Pisces. Now, when we're talking about air and the element of communication here, we have the Six of Cups. So someone may be returning, um, Pisces. For some of you guys, this could be a person that perhaps has been looking at what you're doing uh, from a distance. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a past lover or someone that you were dealing with in the past that may be returning in this month. Uh, communication may open up. I see them being very nostalgic, looking towards you, wanting to uh, connect or wanting to reconnect is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, it could be the past returning. Now in the element of fire, the challenge here is the queen of swords. So as a challenge, this is a position that we need to overcome for this month. Try the best you can not to be very much in your head about things, Pisces. Take a breather. Let things happen and flow organically the way they're supposed to. Don't try to control situations or circumstances that may come up for this month, especially um, in very connection with a person that may be returning from the past. Whether this is someone that you are waiting to hear from, whether it's someone that you were trying to reconnect or reconcile, be very... Uh, methodical not to jump into a situation rather quickly take your time allow them to prove themselves to you um, through actions not through words the queen of swords is asking you to be uh, not so detached to what's going on around you but to be more in your mind in your intellect to make decisions based on uh, your intellect based on your mind not what your heart is telling you at this point in time it is important for us to cut through the facade or to cut through illusions. So this could be you having the need to cut through illusions or to stop believing in um, that things may change. Like as an example, if a person is coming back from your past and it's someone that uh, perhaps you're better off without and they're coming back around, don't be quick to jump into rushing anything. Let them show you and prove to you through actions, not through words. This is what's going to really be, um, I see you guys struggling a bit with cutting cords with people. This could be, like I said, with this person that's coming back around. For others of you, this could be um, people, family members, uh, family members that are perhaps toxic or have 
a very high codependency or they rely a lot on you Pisces and it's important to cut the cords you know it's it's almost they're showing me like an umbilical cord so for some of you guys it could be the feeling of being drained because family or friends or people around you that you love have a tendency of relying a lot on you whether it's emotional whether it's financial um, but they are telling you here that there is a need for you to cut certain ties that are no longer serving you at this point in time, Pisces. Now, when we're talking about relationships and partnerships with the element of water here, we have the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is, again, feeling victorious. It is um, what you've been hoping for or wanting to happen finally unfolding or manifesting for you. However, I do want to encourage you guys to be careful, like I said, you may see it as triumphant, especially if you guys were expecting or wanting to hear from someone um, that perhaps you uh, were in a distance connection or perhaps things fell through uh, or there was some type of temporary separation or breakup. Uh, with the Six of Wands, it is feeling victorious. It's feeling like you're finally getting what you've been hoping for. But with the Queen of Swords, remember to cut through the illusions. Don't be... Don't be innocent, okay? They're telling you to be, uh, to really think about things before moving forward. Don't be very irrational in jumping into situations that uh, are not consistent or that have the potential to not be consistent. There is something about a repeating cycle, so be careful with that, especially if you're dealing with ex-partners, ex-lovers, or family members that fell off the map or that you're no longer in connection with that at some point we're very depleting of your energy. You have to be mindful of that, okay? All right, so let's see what Spirit's final message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the final message here for Pisces? Another thing that I'm getting very strongly for some of you Pisces out there is uh, knowing and understanding whatever the current situation is for you. Um, be mindful of that. Um, don't. It, it's it's almost an energy of like someone returning and being hopeful because this is something you've been wanting to happen. Uh, now that it's actually happening, um, there may be a bit of a feeling of like let's rush into it. Let's rush into jumping from one stage to another because we obviously missed each other, and whatnot. But they are telling you to be careful, um, to be careful because there was a need for some type of cycle either to end or some type of connection to be cut. Um, because with the Six of Wands, what I'm getting is someone is definitely returning back into your life and you may see it as a blessing or you may see it as destiny. Um, but in reality, with the Queen of Swords, it is having the power, the patience, and the knowledge to allow them to speak to you through actions, not through words, so that you can be able to decipher, to be able to see past the facade, past the good girl or um, good girl or good boy uh, type of personality and to really see if they're consistent. There's something about consistency here that they're telling me, so be mindful of that, okay? All right, the final message here for Pisces in regards to this situation, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And this does not have to be relationship-wise. This could also be uh, in regards to family or friends, people that leave you depleted of your energy, Pisces. Now, the card we have here is Cornucopia. This is the uh, representation of the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happiness, what you've been hoping for or praying for finally coming through for you. But again, I would highly encourage you guys to uh, pay more attention to the actions of other people versus what they're telling you. This is going to be very telling for you in this month of October. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye bye.